this is Paroxide and this is Blood Death Knight Guide for Cormrock. In general, you want to move Cormrock near to the pool to which you want him to leap in. Apart from that, you want to be spread 4 yards from each other during the pound to avoid taking physical damage. Cormrock gains different abilities depending on in which pool he leaps in. Getting hit with any of these new abilities afflicts you with Fell Touch. What Fell Touch does is it increases the magical damage you take by 50%. If he leaps into the purple pool, he gains an ability called SWAT. He knocks the tank that's currently tanking backwards and inflicting shadow damage. You want to make sure that your back is against the wall and that you land on the solid ground. You want to use your rune tap or anti-magic shell before this happens. Also, you don't want to be knocked into the pool because if you are, you're probably gonna die. If he leaps into the green one, he gains ability called Fall Crush. He summons the hand underneath the tank that's currently tanking and you suffer physical damage every second until the hand is destroyed. You want to use your Icebound Fortitude or any of the external cooldowns for this. If he leaps into the orange one, he gains an ability called Explosive Burst. He ignites the tank that's currently tanking and stuns for 10 seconds. You're unable to do anything during this time, so make sure you position away from the raid. Also, call for external since you can't do any of your own stuff. After 10 seconds, it detonates Explosive Burst and inflicts far damage to all players within 40 yards from you. You want to save up the file for Grasping Hands to maximize the damage on the Grasping Hands. You also want to use your Anti-Magic Shell if you're having trouble passing through Fell Outpouring, also known as Shadow Waves. If you're doing Mythic difficulty, you have to soak the ability called Splash. I highly recommend you download Exorcist Ray Tools and you do the command slash RT arrow this and the arrow is gonna tell you where's your spot. When you go to your spot, when it's set, you do this command and the arrow mark the place so you always know where you have to go. If this guide helped you out, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. If you wanna ask anything, feel free to do so. If you wanna check guides for any of the other bosses, just click the annotations. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.